Is Sam Pittman that good, or is Chad Morris really that bad? Mark Rogers TV, the voice of college football, breaking down another Arkansas win. This is becoming a habit, a normal thing, just run-of-the-mill Arkansas win after win after win after win. Well, it's at least two in the last three weeks. Arkansas now 2-2 two and two with a victory over Ole Miss, 33-21. The Hogs now at 2-2. Two two. Doesn't sound like anything exceptional, but considering the plight of Arkansas football in recent years at the end of Brett Bielema's term, and then again Chad Morris, historically bad at Arkansas, this is really good stuff. It's a great story, the best in college football that I can think of thus far in uh, this year of 2020. And actually the Hogs could be 3-1 and one, uh, if you take away the Bo Nix debacle at the end of the game in which the officials botched the rules, uh, most likely Arkansas would be 3-1 and one against an extremely, extremely difficult schedule. Uh, but let's celebrate this one with the Hogs. And you Arkansas fans, I'm sure you're celebrating right now. Again, it's got to feel good to be this competitive. Mark Rogers TV, the voice of college football, breaking down the SEC and the nation unlike anybody else. Please lock it in right here. Subscribe. Uh, if you love college football, that's why you should be here. Hardcore college football fans, this is your place. Let's lock it in. Please, please uh, share the videos out on social media as well. And again, like the video and subscribe. All right. Not Florida that usually has great athletes in the front seven, especially in the great secondaries, of course, that they've had. Even though they lost a ton of talent to the NFL, the Florida defense should be much better. Uh, not Kentucky, which had under the radar one of the best defenses in the country two years ago and was going to have a defense similar to that this year. Not even mighty Bama could contain a Lane Kiffin like this. The Hogs held Matt Corral, who had... Eclipsed 300 yards easily in the first three games of the season and was so prolific to just 200 yards passing, only 5.3 yards per pass attempt, and more importantly, six interceptions and seven turnovers. Grant Morgan, what a game, a game for the ages with Bumper Pool, one of the best uh, defenders in the SEC, out. And uh, one of his best uh, friends on the team, Grant Morgan, turned in the game of his life. 19 total tackles, three tackles for loss, a sack, and a pick six as well. That gave the Hogs a 26-14 to 14 lead. All right. It, this could take like 10 minutes just to go through the interceptions. There were so many of them, and they were huge. Jalen Catalan had a pick six early as he weaved through traffic. Uh, it was a bit of a curious uh, interception for Corral because many times you can see uh, from the camera shot behind center, behind the quarterback, and better understand why he threw it because guys get lost in traffic, linebackers in coverage where you can't possibly see them. But Corral was flushed to his right, and it appeared as though he just decided to throw it into coverage. Uh, and Catalan picked it out, picked off the football, was weaving through traffic, found the end zone, 17-0 Arkansas. They led 20 to nothing, and then the Rebels finally got the offense kicked into gear, cut it to 20-14, to then 26-21. Then what about Hudson Clark, the walk-on? He was the interceptor of the day with three, the hat trick, including the one that iced the game at the end. Those were the catches on defense, six of them for the Hogs. Uh, they also had some nice catches on offense, uh, most of those by Traylon Burks and especially the one-handed variety in the back of the end zone in which he just, you know, the ball was a bullet high and to the outside, and he made what could be the catch of the year thus far for a wide receiver. 11 catches in all for 137, four rushes for Burks, and uh, 104. 37 receiving, 46 rushing, so he had a ton of offense. Quarterback Felipe Franks for Arkansas. He's found a home in Fayetteville, 21 of 34, 244 passing. And uh, he was often a disappointment at Florida because of the high expectations. Well, hardly any expectations at Arkansas, and Felipe Franks is doing his job. Other Members of the team are starring from week to week, and Felipe Franks is taking all that experience from Florida, and he learned quite a bit under Dan Mullen, considering uh, that the year before Mullen came to Gainesville, Felipe Franks had almost a one-to-one -one touchdown-to-pick ratio, and that went from uh, that ratio 
to 24 to 6. So a much better quarterback arrived in Fayetteville and he is now winning right there. Arkansas broke a 20 game SEC losing streak with their win, which included a pick six as well. This must be their their hallmark at this point. In Starkville against Mississippi State. So that broke a 20 game SEC losing streak. This one broke a long home losing streak in the conference. The first time the Hogs had won in Fayetteville since 2016. Texas A&M is up next, and Arkansas will not be an enormous underdog in this win. They will still be an underdog, but no longer can the Aggies take Arkansas lightly. It's a good story. Arkansas 2-2 two and two should be 3-1. and one. Uh, They will not win the SEC, but they will certainly play spoiler this year. Mark Rogers TV, the voice of college football, would love to get your comments concerning Arkansas football, the SEC, and the nation right here.